Okay, we're back in the garage. Um, for those of you who've seen any of my videos before, you know how clean I like to keep my garage. It's kind of my uh, safe space, if you will, so it has to be in perfect condition. Uh, yep. Got a new addition to the shop. We'll add it to the cutting and welding section. Hopefully, again, uh, this will be cleaned up at some point. Not likely, but maybe. Uh, yeah. It's TIG welder, MIG welder, gas axe, and a lightning scissor. No music this time. Just, I got music in my headphones, but you don't have to listen to it. Um, so, I'll pop it open. It's cool, it's cool to get new tools. This one is a, look at that, as a uh, idiot proof top. Not idiot proof, I get into it, but. If I make it idiot proof, the world will invent a better idiot. Sorry for all the dancing around. I'm kind of excited. I pop the plastic off. There's not a lot to these, They're not a very big unit. Uh, it's. I said it's not a big unit. It's kind of a big unit. It's a little heavy. This is sweet. I wonder why these are so long. There's our control panel. Power switch. That's where the business end goes in. And then uh, I'm, I probably have to read the instructions. I don't know. I don't know if I want to read the instructions. Oh, it says right there to read the instructions. I don't know. Whatever. You don't know me. Holy, read the instructions. This is an it's an encyclopedia. Holy. I would probably just go by the pictures there. It'd be fine. Oh, that's all right. It also comes with consumables. I said that wrong on purpose. Sweet. Comes with, uh, you know, business ends. Didn't actually look to see if any of that was in frame. I apologize. That box. Box of oh, stuff. And look at that. Then the ground does go in. This is a little mini DINs connector, which is cool. It's hard to, hard to make out. So the DINs connector is a plug and it has a doodad on the top. Just cam lock, push it in, twist it, and it locks in. Ground clamp, typical cheesy 10 cent ground clamp, 12 cent, I don't know. Torch on the place where I won't lose it. Consume bla. Uh, fancy ground clamp. Boop. And what do we got here? Power. This is a 50 amp. Uh, 208 or not 208 220 240 whatever uh got 208 stuck in my head because i'm thinking of three phase but that's a single phase 240 uh nema 650p and that's what i happen to have for my tig welder there's a welding section in the code book uh dealing with arc welders and the like uh basically you have to upsize uh you're gonna upsize your circuit for the um for your welding stuff by a certain amount i don't remember what it is two 150 percent 290 million percent i don't remember who cares so look at it it's a torch oh you have to it's a flip lock flip flip it's like i feel like tom cruise now Fox one. Cool. Business end. It's very neat. Same here. That's our gland end for that torch. I gotta put this on the other storage space. Mobile storage. Apologize for the can uh, camera bouncing around. I'm trying to keep this thing from falling off the front of the four wheeler. I could have put it on the bench, but who has time? <laughs> Maybe I could just use it and get a couple of pieces of steel and use a four wheeler as a cutting bench too. Just kidding. Oh, 
Oh, that's neat. It's fairly small, nice little white package. Yeah, so there we go. I'm guessing so we have our... That looks like... I'm going to go ahead and say probably cut or gouge. Yeah, that's cut. That's gouge, if I had to guess. Is our amperage readout? Can we turn amperage up, amperage down, or whatever the selection is. I'm sure that you can mode your way through that stuff. Again, so I probably have to read the book. Just kind of baloney, but whatever. Power. On. Off. Again, that's the female dins. That's our torch. They pop in there. And I'm going to say that this little do picky right here is, um, yeah, I'm going to mess with it. It keeps the dummies out. And what's on the bottom? Anything? It's, oh, that's our label for uh, maximum UL compliance. Cool. Well, that's pretty sweet. So at some point, I'm going to take and, oh, that's cool, a little. Uh, I'm going to take and uh, actually plug it in and maybe even cut something. We'll see if I can get a good uh, way to do that without blinding everybody who happens to be watching. That would be good. Uh, made in America, which is difficult to find. A halfway decent piece of equipment made in America now. And these things get stellar reviews, so I'm really excited to give it a shot. I have a couple projects I want to do. Um, I'm going to put a new hitch on my camper and a few other things. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And in the next one, hopefully we'll do some cutting.